Hi guys, my name is Doug. Welcome to Third Stall Garage. This is episode 10 in the restoration of a 66 Mustang convertible called VIN. Uh, today's episode is going to be about prepping and installing the firewall, cowl, upper and lower side panels, getting them all to fit together. Uh, making progress, I'm not there by any means, but uh, some things are going well, some things are going challenging. My life has been a little disjointed lately with lack of time and energy for the project and I think that's kind of flowed through in today's episode a little bit. So uh, thanks for your grace with that. Um, this is episode 10 of Restoring a Mustang called VIN. If you haven't watched the rest of the episodes, I encourage you to go back and watch those. If you like what you're watching, if you like learning how a regular DIY guy like me or like you can tackle a project like this, I encourage you to subscribe, but also hit the bell because otherwise you won't see the new episodes when they come out. Uh, thanks for being part of it. I hope you enjoy the episode. So I'm making some progress on this 66. I got a couple exciting things to update you on. Right here, <laughs> there, right there is the new passenger side cow side panel or kick panel. I had one on order from Kentucky Mustang. I ordered it last December and they just could not get one in stock. Finally, I canceled the order. Called NPD out of Michigan. They had one in stock. It was literally on my front porch 32 hours later, approximately, which is fantastic. So way to go, NPD. Um, and I'm making some progress. You can see that the, the side panel is close to in. The cowl is close. The cowl, lower, lower cowl, the fireball um, is close. Let me turn the camera on and kind of show you where I am. So many things are going really well. Forward progress is great. I've had a few hurdles. Um, one of the hurdles is where the cowl, lower cowl, meets this side panel. The, the cowl was too curved here and kept pushing the side panel out, which meant I could not get this locating pin or dowel in, in place. Um, so what I ended up doing is obviously you can see there's a cut there, which made a relief. This could flex in, which allowed the lower side panel to slide up to level or the cowl to slide down. I'll have to bend that back into place and weld that up. Um, side panel fits pretty well. Um, I'm riding a little high right here and I'm riding a little high right here. So I need to adjust those so it sits better. And right now, I've got a what will be a butt joint right there. Um, once I pull that down, this is still overlapping just a touch. So I think that will help things nestle down. It's fitting pretty well along the bottom of the windshield. Uh, I've got a little bit of a trouble where the upper cowl lines up with the firewall. The gap right here is pretty nice. It's pretty nice, focus. It's pretty nice along there. And then the gap starts to widen quite a bit. Um, and then it narrows up again on the other side. So I think that my firewall's got a little bit of a bow to it. So I'll have to try to, to pull that out. Um, overall, the rest of it's fitting pretty well. You know, it's not clamped in real tight. You see, I've got a little bit of a gap down there that would have to be fixed, but I'm excited to see it starting to pull together a little bit. So I'm gonna keep working on this and see if I can get the fit and finish as perfect as I hope, and I'll let you know what it looks like. I'm beginning to tackle trying to straighten the firewall. The firewall needs to get moved that way so that this gap closes up. My thoughts right now are to, uh, I've clamped this four by four up against the shock towers to see if I can put a jack in there against a block of wood and flex the firewall in until it's nice and straight like the edge of the cowl. We'll see how this goes. It's a try.
So I think this is where I'm gonna take a pause on this part of the project. Uh, I've gotten a lot accomplished. Let me turn the camera on in a second. I will show you kind of where I'm ending right now and why I'm gonna pause here. Um, I have the upper cowl in a pretty close position to where I want it. The side panels are pretty good. Firewall still needs a little bit of work, um, but I'm running into a few challenges. Uh, and let me show you what those are. By the way, working on a project like this, you can never have too many clamps. Uh, great excuse to buy them. I highly recommend the Bremen brand at Harbor Freight. Those are pretty affordable, work pretty well. I wouldn't get their bottom dollar ones, but the, the Bremen BR, B-R-E-M-E-N have been great to work with. Um, so again, I'm really happy with the way that the side panels are fitting in. They blend well with the, the cowl. Uh, I've got a few fit and finish issues, a little bit of a gap here. Uh, I gotta figure out what's going on here just to touch, but overall that's pretty good. I did install the windshield wipers. Um, they're not perfectly centered, but they're close. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them closer or not. Here's where I'm running into trouble. As you saw earlier in the video, I tried to flex this in. That's not working. Um, I need to get an alignment tool. Some people call them ladies heel or a uh, rocker. I forget what it's called. But basically there's a variety of tools that come with a, a, a tapered spiked alignment handle. Um, I messed around with smooth shank screwdriver and I can get all three of these to line up and get alignment tools in there. So I'm gonna buy several of those. I think that will take care of that problem. And then I should be pretty close to a final fitment. Um, I still have this little bit of a high gap here. And then I'll be able to, to be close to having this where I want it to be. Next, I will start with um, kind of a final fitment of the front apron pieces to make sure that they fit well before I start screwing anything together or tack welding anything. But there's a reason why I'm gonna pause here, and that is because my radio plate and my dash got hacked up to put a modern radio in there, and I have a patch panel, and I would like to get that cut apart and weld it in uh, before I put the firewall in, because that will be able to access the back of it. So I'm gonna take a pause here while I get those alignment tools, and then work on welding in uh, the radio plate. So I think that will be the next episode. Uh, before I finally put the firewall in, I'm also gonna do the second coat of frame coating. Um, and then my last challenge is I have an export brace here. One of my last challenges and I have yet to figure this out because if I get an alignment tool in here, I've got an alignment pin here and on the far side, I think I'll feel really good about how everything fits. My export brace fits in the top of the strut tower, shock tower, and is spaced appropriately this way. So I feel good that my shock towers haven't collapsed inward, but these holes do not line up with the holes in the export brace do not line up with the holes in the cowl. Um, and I do not know yet what to do about that. I'm really curious if anybody out there has had a similar situation. Should this line up or am I gonna need to weld these holes up and redrill them? Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. So I'd love advice from anybody if possible. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you subscribing and being part of the channel. As you can see, it is a rare, beautiful March, Michigan day outside, and it's nice to see some sunshine. Hope you guys are enjoying life wherever you are, and thanks for being part of Third Stall Garage. Have a great day.